guys, what's going on? It's me, Jasper here, and welcome back to another video. Now, this is a bit of an odd video, and it's, I'm, in today's video, I will be covering what is new in 1.9. Uh, as you know, 1.9 1 1 comes out tomorrow, and yeah, let's talk about that. So, first up, we have a bunch of new, a bunch of new, a bunch of new arrows with different effects. We're going to start out, this, this, is, this is just a tipped arrow, it's what you need to start crafting these other ones, and yeah, it's, there's no effects on that one. So here we have the arrow of invisibility. Right here. And basically what it, what it does is it gives you or the person shot with it invisibility for a set amount of time. I don't know exactly how much time. 22 seconds. We have an arrow of leaping, which basically jump boost. Right here. Fire resistance. Swiftness. And I believe slowness, yeah. So those are very similar. Hold on. There we go. Uh, I believe harming or healing. Excuse me. Harming's down there. This is the arrow of har of healing, instant health. Uh, arrow of harming right here actually. Arrow of poison, regeneration, and strength. So that's the first row. Guys, by, by the way, this is all on the wi on the wiki. Go go check it out. And so this is the arrow of weakness. This weakness for 11 seconds, and also pl minus four attack damage. Uh, arrow of luck, which I think is like it improves the drops you get from mobs. Uh, here's a spectral arrow. What it does is it sort of outlines whatever the target is. Like if you hit a player, it outlines them no matter what what block they're behind. So here we have an end crystal that can be crafted somehow. I'll put, I'll probably overlay something. Or the link, the link will be on below. So this is an interesting mob. This is the spawn. This is the shulker. It's really weird. Probably, I should probably get a sword before I do this. Wait a while. Run right over here. Place it. It's a block, right? That this guy. It's a mob that, that just hides the block and then peeks out regularly and you punch it. Nothing happens until basically, well, yeah, it's blocked pretty much. That is the mob inside and attacks you. It's really fun though, really creepy as well. So, did move. Oh, that's, that's, that's a pig. Okay, confuse me for a second. So here, here we have all the purple stuff, which is pretty interesting. Oh, cor chorus. Excuse me. So this is the chorus plant. You can't place it, but you can find it in the, in the wild. So the chorus plant, the chorus fruit, the popped chorus fruit, and the chorus flower. So these are all used to create blocks. And I missed something. Oh well. And now we have those blocks over there. We'll cover them later. We have the beet, beetroots. So you, you, using beetroot, you can you have beetroot seeds. You can plant these over here, and then you have beetroot soup. Um, beetroot soup is basically it just basically it's basically just food, pretty much. It's just basically like mushroom stew, but with beetroots, which is pretty interesting. I like the I kind of like like how they're adding new foods and stuff, and arrows and all that stuff. So that, that, that those are all the new items. Items actually, that's a lie. The, the coolest item of all, the ele the the Elektra. It's a uh, flying item. I'm, I'm gonna run over, run, run over this tower. Actually, I'll go to I'll go to game mode one and just fly over here and shut this off. So what this does is it it's basically like a wingsuit, pretty much. So if you fall and put on space, you can just fly like so. And I I, I should show this in survival mode so you believe me that it's not just being creative, so hold on. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm gonna jump up here, and then do this, and you get no damage, which is great. So that's the um, what uh, um, Mojang's uh, attempt at a wingsuit is, and it, I think it turned out pretty well. So, an interesting addition. Actually, sorry, I forgot something. Wait, did I forget it? Yeah, I forgot something. I'll show you at the end though. There's shields now, and dual wielding. If you do this and this. You can have two things in your inventory at once, but you can you can only right click with. It's hard to explain, but it, it's weird. So you're like you can have two things in your inventory, and you can and quick thing you can actually change what hand is your dominant hand because uh, de by default it's your right hand. But you can change it to your left, so you can go like that. It's not your it's not your dominant hand. And I think it's pretty cool, but I am a righty, so I like having my right hand. Cool. So, one of the biggest changes, in my opinion, so far, has been the boats. 
they, they they've received an, a, a a skin like a item an item skin change. Uh, they received oh the thing just popped up. That's cool. They received a boat like an actual block looking change with oars and stuff, and it's cool because the movement is much better. There's like it sort of like drags a little bit. There's a little bit of drag which I find really nice, and the oars move which is just really cool. And the cool thing is, is to go fast, you have to hold on both A and W, or A and D, or A and W, or whatever you want to go. Like this, if you want to turn that way, you're, oh, hold on. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty user friendly if you want to try it out. So, that, so that, that's the new boats. Pretty cool. Also, there's new sound effects. There's some new sound effects. If you punch things, um, you get some stuff like that. Uh, no shovel. No, I do not. But basically, what this is here is this is, um, grass paths so basically if you if you, if you, if you right click on, on any grass block with a shovel any kind of shovel you'll get this which is like i think one or two pixels lower than a grass block or normal block so it's it's pretty good for like creative builders and all that because i mean it just looks nice and this is what it looks like outside the ground so here are the purple -pur blocks um these are pretty cool blocks they're i don't like the color at all they're kind of it's kind of a gross color but I think a texture pack, if you have a texture pack, it'll be, that, that'll be fixed instantly. <coughs> so yeah, the purple bl bricks, columns, stairs, and slabs. These are all crafted using the pop purple uh, fruit, whatever it is over here. This thing. They're all, they're all crafted using this. So, yeah. There have been some new additions to the end, including some new end blocks. So, this end like candle thingy, it provides light. So I'm going to do time. That night, and you'll see it gives us some light over here. That's not just sand portal. Um, make some dense stones, usual end brick, and I added three of the same thing. Oops. And the end is slightly different. I'm not gonna go in there and struggle mode because I'm I have nothing on me. So jump in. There's some new stuff, and it's very loud on my end. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. Hold up. What's wrong with that? Uh, music. Turn it down a little bit because it's got pretty loud. But um, the Ender Dragon has some new attack abilities. Some of the end column thingies have put like like a, a sort of thing around them now. So if I attack the thing, the Ender Dragon or something, go go over there and slap it with a sword. It'll start doing stuff. Also, a new background for the end. Like there's actually more detail back there's not just blackness not okay with an arrow bow and arrow i guess this, this would be a good time to show off uh some arrows like this oh wait so i have the arrow in your inventory like that and it's pretty cool also the bow ha i'm not sure if, if this is recent but if you if, if you if you look at the hot bar the bow has an animation now is pretty cool in the hopper when you draw it anyway so that that's the end this is like the new end sort of thing but once you kill the ender dragon you get some new things up here so i'm just gonna fast forward when i kill the ender dragon hold on nah, I'm not gonna do that. Um, when you kill the, when you kill the Ender Dragon, some new blocks, like, some new little things appear out in the world. I'm gonna blow these up, hold up. Just gonna run around blowing some stuff up right now. While I'm talking. Some new, like these, uh, Ender, mini Ender portals. I don't know what they're called exactly. But they're pretty cool, and you can also find End Cities. Out in the world, which is pretty nice. I'm just gonna destroy all these and probably fast forward through this part, but yeah. I personally have never found an end, an, an end city, but that's just me. They're on little islands surrounding the thing. I think I, think I got all of them. Have I got all of them? Yes, I have. So what's this? I, oh, so, so I've just killed the Ender Dragon, and I've spoiled the island a little bit, and I found this. This is a portal. 
to so so earlier I mentioned the per 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 box and all that stuff and the per per fruit and uh, the, all that if you throw an eye an eye an ender pearl excuse me in, into the, into that little block area you're teleported to here this is where you get the per per stuff if you knock these down you get all of this which gives you a bunch of per per uh, like chorus fruit I don't know what I'm talking about I'm derping out right now you get all of these and yeah. If you 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 can, you you can also explore the rest of this place. You can find you can find all of these and yeah. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I'm gonna probably overlay some images of like the end boats and end cities because I don't feel like looking around and finding them. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all when I, when I, when I get back to the overworld because I'm the one other video in here. Oh, so close. There you go. Cool. And I will see you all after these credits. Come on. I don't, want, I don't actually want to see the credits. Come on. Um, there we go. In the next video.